What's up guys, it's Parker. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually go around this car. Um, it is sold. A buddy of mine reached out to me and said that he'd like to have the car. Um, but I'm just gonna go over how you can confirm that it is an X11 um, Super Sport 350 car. One last time here before, we, before it leaves the premises. We'll go this way. We were able to just kind of piece it together. We didn't spend a whole, whole lot of time on it. Just kind of threw rear end up underneath of it. Um, these are the Corvette wheels that it came with originally. Um, not, not factory, of course. But I wanted to take a look at underneath here. Now, this car had dual fuel lines hanging off of it on the front. But if you take a look all the way over there on that frame rail over there, there is a return line um, as well as the regular fuel line, which would have only been correct on an SS350 with the X11 tag on the front. Now it also has the 12 bolt rear. I was able to put the posi unit from the other rear end um, in this one. And then I sold that other rear end to another buddy of mine. Um, and then this one also has the, the multi-leaf uh, springs in the rear. Now remember again, it does have the dual exhaust plate um, behind here for the dual exhaust. And what's cool is that it was a Muncie. Of course, it has the, the hole for the Muncie four speed in it. Um, and then it also has the, the disc brakes. So that's how we can confirm that this was a, a Super Sport 350 small block car, um, as well as the hole back here for the RS headlights. Um, it still has the vacuums coming out of it. The switch for the vacuum is actually is actually right here, still hanging out from the dash. So uh, we know that it is a and is an, a real RS car, also. All right, so we're at the bottom of the barn here. Um, just Camaro parts everywhere, of course. Uh, we'll be loading those up here shortly. But what I wanted to talk about was uh, the heads that were on the the, the bench there, um, a couple videos back when we picked up the car. Um, and I mentioned that these were either Corvette or Z28 heads. Um, the cool thing is, is that if we could take a look down here, we can see that they're double hump heads. Um, they have two little humps right here on the side. I think they look like a set of breasts, but they call them, I mean, that's why they're called double hump, I assume. Um, but these are, these are Corvette valve covers. Now, if this was a, a Z28 head, um, these valve covers would actually be a little bit dull. Um, the Corvette ones were like a polished. The cover off here, and we look at the, the tag here, we see 3927186. So these heads would actually be Z28 DZ302 heads, but they're date coded 70, so they would be the, from the Corvette. Um, and if they were date coded 69, of course, we would be looking at some gold. Um, but didn't, didn't work out for us on that one. Still a good piece, still double hump heads, still worth a decent amount of money. If you find them, remember, look for the lumps on the side. That car originally was a vinyl top car. Uh, they took the nipples off of the vinyl top so that a lot of people thought they were ugly back then. Um, this is actually the, the trim that would have went around the top of the vinyl top. And originally from the factory, they would have had a, a black line um, that went down the center of these pieces of trim. Now, when I got the uh, vinyl top put on my Camaro, the gold car upstairs, um, they wouldn't actually put the vinyl top on the car with the trim that wasn't original because they, they've just done so many and they've just messed with them over the years. Um, they told me that the original trim is, is definitely a lot easier and uh, to take the time and make sure that you have those. So if you're putting a vinyl top on a car, um, if you've experienced that, you know, let us know in the comments below. Got a busy day. Got this one leaving and uh, Got a Challenger leaving behind this. Beautiful. Just press close. All right, that all work. Yeah, Luke, that was pretty easy.
Well, guys, we had an eventful day here, eventful week at Backyard Barn Finds. As you can see, there's no cars behind me. Uh, we do have to go out and find a few more. I'll find a couple for you guys and uh, tune in next week to see what's going on at Backyard Barn Finds. Again, my name is Parker and have a great day.